okay so i would like to explain it once again so this is the standard mathematical way of writing down the equation y prime where you have a dy by dx in mechanics what happens is independent variable becomes time t therefore derivative also becomes time derivative time derivative is will represent either the velocity or the acceleration therefore instead of the y prime we will use y dot so remember dot notation is reserved exclusively for time derivatives not for any other derivative okay the moment you see the dot there you understand that it is time derivative the moment you see a prime there the derivative is not with respect to time it is with respect to some other independent variable so that is the understanding of the notation okay in addition to this notation we have a particular classification in mechanics and that classification depends on it depends on what it depends on whether time is explicitly visible in the equation or not remember once again whether time is explicitly visible in the equation or not now you take an example f of t comma y equal to y plus 2 in the expression y plus 2 whether time is visible or not the answer is time is not visible because t is not there in y plus 2 t is not there we say that time is not visible and therefore we will classify the differential equation as autonomous differential equation so this classification is very important in mechanics you have two varieties one is autonomous differential equation and the other one is non-autonomous differential equation so in order to uh, this is a quite simple one but in order to demonstrate the uh, clarity of the concept i would like to write down a few example equations let us write down some equation and then you'll have to classify it okay so wait uh, yeah that's all so i have now a list of equations that is written down now now you have to tell whether what is a classification do you want to classify under autonomous or non-autonomous but before that there is already one more classification what is known as linear and non-linear that is always there so now you are you are having an opportunity to classify linear autonomous linear non-autonomous non-linear autonomous and non-linear non-autonomous that kind of uh, 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 that kind of combinations are there so you'll have to identify let us now identify the first equation they are very simple so x dot is there so this is the appearance you know? so the same appearance should be there here instead of y you have an x that's all no problem so remember that x is uh, which one is independent variable you should remember that the time is the independent variable in these problems so th this is something very important otherwise the total thing will be a chaos for you whenever you have a dot whenever you have a dot it represents time derivative which means that time is independent variable that's all about it and in this equation x will be unknown x means position of the particle i do not know what it is x dot i do not know so therefore x and x dot will be unknown quantities time will be the independent known quantity okay so this is true in all this equation if it is the case what shall we say linear or non-linear so unknown to the power one unknown to the power one therefore it is linear okay so therefore it is linear then what about autonomous or non-autonomous in the entire equation time is not visible t is not at all there in the equation and whenever t is not at all there that's what i'm writing independent of independent of means something that that is not appearing that's what is independent of if it is independent of that then we will classify it as autonomous so i'll write down linear autonomous and that's all that is a classification okay come to the second equation i have x square what is x square unknown square unknown square means non-linear so write down quickly non-linear okay what about autonomous or not the entire equation in the entire equation time is not visible so write down autonomous okay now you'll be able to tell that the third equation is linear and non-autonomous and the last equation will be non-linear non-autonomous of course you must be able to uh, visualize why why it is so it is linear because you don't have any uh, any power not equal to one so this is power one this is power one and here nothing is there to worry so therefore everywhere power one is there linear and coming to the time whether time is visible or not yeah here it is visible 
here also it's visible therefore it is non autonomous and coming to this equation there is a power 2 unknown power 2 is there non linear okay and coming to the time whether time is visible yes it's visible here it's visible here therefore non autonomous so therefore classifying the equation into linear and autonomous and similarly non linear and non autonomous is quite straightforward but only thing is that you you should know which is dependent variable which is independent variable so that clarity should be there and you should be comfortable with the dot notation okay dot notation means time derivative only so that's very important so okay so this could be the uh, i would like to explain okay uh, next i would like to explain what is known as a very standard cauchy problem in differential equation uh, but however uh, this point i would i would like to do in the uh, in the in the next class okay